Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at inserting slicer buttons into our Excel spreadsheet and see how they can be helpful for the user experience in filtering data. I have here a basic spreadsheet of units sold in various segments, countries, and markets, and I want my users to be able to filter the data they are looking for. If I send the spreadsheet as it is now, they would have to click the down arrow for country, select the country they want, click OK. If they wanted to filter further by product, they'd have to click that drop down, select the product, again click OK. And if they wanted to return to the original view, they would have to clear these filters. We can make this process a lot simpler. So let's try inserting some slicer buttons. Before we begin, we do need to make sure our data here is formatted as a table. The keyboard combination shortcut to format your data as a table is Control T. Excel will highlight your data, you can click OK, and we have our table. Now head to the Insert tab at the top, and head to the right to click Slicer. For now, I'll add a slicer for both country and product. Click OK and we can move our slicer buttons around as desired. Now that our slicer buttons are inserted, a few tips around formatting them. If you click on the slicer box and then go to the slicer tab at the very top, you can change the color using slicer styles located here. You can also select slicer settings and a dialog box will appear where you can change the name that appears up at the very top. You can decide whether or not to display a header you can also change the way the items are sorted or filtered, so whether you want those listed alphabetically or reverse alphabetically, you can also determine whether or not you want to show or hide items that have no data. I'll leave the general settings for now and click OK. Now let's try the same steps we took before, filtering by country and then by product, but instead using the slicer buttons. So if I click Canada, with just a simple click, my table has been updated and it's a lot more interactive. Now, if I want to search for a particular product, I can click Montana. Again, the data updates. No need to go back to your drop down menu if you want to change your filter as well. If I want to change the country I'm filtering for, you can simply click the new option and your list will update. In order to clear these filters, you can just hit the clear filter icon up at the very top and your data will reset. Another option you can choose, if I were to select Canada again, you can use this icon for multi-select to select more than one country at a time. If I click that icon and then click another country, you'll notice both are now highlighted and filtered. As a final tip, know that slicer buttons can be inserted for pivot tables as well. We follow the same process as before. We go to the Insert tab at the top, click Slicer, and I'll enter a slicer in for segment, click OK. And now I can easily filter between the different segments for my data. I hope you enjoyed this tip. Please like and subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell for additional videos, and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.